Tenebrae, directed by Dario Argento, starring Anthony Franchosa, Giuliano Gemma, and Christian Barumio. An American writer in Rome is stalked by a serial killer, bent on harassing him while killing all people associated with his work on his latest book. Tenebrae is quite possibly Dario Argento's last great film. If you're looking for a film with beautiful cinematography and some incredible tracking shots that last for minutes at a time, look no further than Tenebrae. This is a masterpiece within the giallo subgenre. This basically follows a writer named Peter Neal who is promoting his new book Tenebrae in Rome and while he's there a series of murders start to happen. It follows a lot of the tried and true themes within giallo storylines but it also has the Argento flair to it. This is an absolutely gorgeous film that is shot to perfection. The entire cast I feel is cast perfectly within this film and it's really cool seeing Daria Nicolodi and John Saxon in this film as well. Every single kill in this film has a very artistic quality to it. I can't stress enough how incredible this film is shot. There are some creative scenes like someone putting on a t-shirt and the killer uses his razor blade to cut the t-shirt open and we see the hole through that shirt into the character's face and then the blood splattering onto her face through that hole and it's these ingenious framing of shots that i have never seen before as usual with dario argento films we have an amazing score by goblin this ranks up there with profondo russo when it comes to goblin scores the tenebrae score is so catchy i also love the murder mystery aspect of this film another aspect that works really well for tenebrae is the pacing there's no lulls in this film so much of it is trying to uncover the mystery of who the murderer is and when we're not doing that we're having some character building and although the practical effects are very simplistic in this film they work really well for the overall theme and because of the fact that the film is shot so stylistically the practical effects and lack of any real gore is totally fine set designs and costuming looks fantastic as usual for an argento film that's one of the things about dario argento no matter what you're going to get a film that looks gorgeous and once we get the reveal of who the killer is and the various plot twists and turns it's so rewarding and it's such an enjoyable film from beginning to end so with all that said tenebrae is an instant classic. I adore this film, and this ranks for me as one of the best Giallo films. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like, and if you want to see more content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for coming by, and I'll see you guys next time.